right, welcome back. Got everything all mixed up. I decided to go with the indigo. I just think it's such a pretty color and it mixed up so nice. It's like this purpley blue, like almost like a silvery purpley blue. I don't know how to describe it, but I didn't make it very dark. Probably could have made it a little darker actually. Maybe, you know what, I think I'm gonna throw a little bit more in. When I'm measuring this out for this, I use this teeny, teeny, tiny little spoon. So I'm just gonna add like a, another like half a little spoon worth in there, just so it's not quite so transparent. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be opaque. And looking in here, it kind of looks like, oh my gosh, it's opaque. But the test is when you put it on the side of the cup which is kind of hard for you to see, or when I pull it out and have it on the stick, in which case it's a lot easier for you to see. See, there, there we go. Can still see the stick through it, but it's um, not as bad as it, was, <laughs> as it was before. This is a really pretty light, like a purpley blue. I love it. All right, so um, I am using Teak Spurt 2 to 1 resin. Um, I'm using Liquitex Dioxazine Purple, and that is this right here. Pretty dark, because that's my dark color. I am using um, Liquitex Cronacridone Magenta. That is my light color, so it is not as dark. It's still a little pretty transparent. Um, I am using white. For this one, I'm using Cast and Craft, but I'm starting to incorporate using my own white in a lot more things. So expect to see more of that coming up. Um, I've been practicing behind the scenes. So um, anyway, and I have used it in several of my videos, but I, we, that's a discussion for another day. All right, so there it is. It's not, it's not fully opaque. It's not fully transparent. It's kind of like at the line right in between. And then finally, I have some, silver crushed stones for the center. I thought that would go really nicely with the kind of silvery purple of the um, indigo mica powder. All right, and I'm using this square mold and that is by um, Resonable Creations on Etsy. And I will provide information about all of these things in the description. Okay, so here we go. Gonna start off with the white. Gonna pour it in here and make sure it covers the all of the bottom, the whole bottom. And if it doesn't, what I'll do is I'll pick it up and just kind of move it around a little bit just so that it has a chance to get everywhere. Okay, get off there. All right, one cup down. Okay, we're just gonna kinda there we go. Now it's had a chance to go in all of the places. Oh, let me put this way. All right. So next, what I'm going to do is get a paper towel, <laughs> and I'm going to take this indigo and I'm going to go around the outside edge, and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to try to kind of get it on the sides. I don't know if that'll actually happen or not is the sides here are pretty steep in this mold. It has spots where it's not as steep, but a lot of it, it's not exactly vertical, vertical, but it's not, not vertical. I don't know how exactly to put that. But, oh, isn't this a beautiful color? I just love it. I think it's gonna look amazing with that dioxazine purple. Okay, now I'm just gonna kinda continue to go around here, making sure that it is all even or as even as possible. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect, but I will go as even as I can. There we go, and please excuse if you hear my son in the background, he is playing an online game with his friends, so he tends to get a little loud sometimes. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put 
I'm gonna pour this with my left hand. I always can never figure out which hand to use. Okay, I'm gonna pour the dioxazine purple in next. Okay. Then I am going to pour the magenta after that. And then finally, I'm going to drop my stones in the center. I want to have a, a decent amount, but I don't want to overdo it. So I might not use them all. I think that is good. Just a small amount, just enough so that I know I've got a center in there, hopefully. Hopefully I got those in the center. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes when you get to this point. And then last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna torch this and then I will put it on a time lapse for a little bit. I have a craft fair coming up um, in a week. So I need to kind of sort out some of my stuff and decide what I'm gonna bring. So that is what I'm gonna work on, that and cleaning up my, my table. So, all right, so next time I talk to you, it'll be when it's time to unmold. Fingers crossed that this comes out awesome, and I will see you soon. Okay, it's unmolding time. Let's see what we got. There's a little bit of a glare here. Let me see if I can, whoops, wrong way I fixed that. I got my window open, so. All right, let's see. Uh, it looks interesting on this side. I have no idea what it's gonna look like on the other side. Let's see, are we ready? Oh, that looks pretty cool. I like it. You can see the, the purple, the indigo, is kind of around the outside. It's very subtle. It's not super obvious right around here. I think that looks really pretty. The middle is very different, but I like that it's square. I think that's the part that I really like. I like that it's square. So what do you think? I'd love to know. Please leave me a comment, and thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.